Hello guys, today I'd like to make a new tutorial about how to select proper amount of sleeving if you're going into sleeving job, specifically for your power supply. This question I get asked I don't know how many times, hundreds, right? So, and being lazy, I'm already tired to type it every time, so I thought, oh, maybe I'll make a video and just instead of answering the same question again and again, I'll just make a link to the video, right? So that's uh, my way of thinking. Also, you know, I'm not the big fan of sleeving in general. It's not my forte, but I'll try to share my knowledge and hopefully this will help you with the question. Anyways, so first of all, if you decide that you want to sleeve your power supply, this is pretty much cool project, but be aware that this is a lot of work. So it's not particularly difficult, but your time commitment will be pretty substantial. So if you want to be occupied for a while, that's a project for you. If not, I would say go other route and just buy colored extensions. So you connect it to your existing power supply cable and on the front of motherboard you have all this nice stuff that looks cool but behind your motherboard tray you have usual mess but nobody knows right and you still can make cool pictures and it takes you minimum effort to do pretty much the same result but if you want to be perfect and you would like to sleeve entire uh, power supply from the ground power to you and you can do it and for that in order to calculate how much sleeving you need it's basic basic task I'm really confused why people asking this question but what you need to that you need a power supply itself unfortunately I don't have modular unit so we'll go with unmodular unit Modular unit actually makes things easy and we'll talk about that you need measuring tape and if you challenged with numbers, it's better to have calculator, right? So, first of all, what we do, we take out our power supply, it's brand new, and uh, we basically unbox it. Figure out how much cables we have. So, let me do that, brand new unit. Right. This is the job you're undertaking. So think first if you want to do it. Not trying to be anti-advertising, but guys, this is a serious work. Anyway, so how we do calculation? First of all, what kind of sleeving? It, that's pretty much simple. Uh, most of the power supply, I would say 99% uh, is using AVG18 wires, which uh, use two millimeter sleeving. And for those who can't think in millimeters, it's one eighth of the inch. So now we need to figure out how we do individual sleeving, how much sleeving we need. This is damn simple. You take your wires that you'd like to sleeve. If you have a modular unit, you basically can sleeve only what's required. If you have a unit like this and you have no choice, you have to sleeve everything. So it's a little bit more work. So. Let's start with our 24 pin power cable. How much living we need here? That's basically rather straight four. We measure the length of the cable trying to figure out what it is. And this is uh, one 1.5 feet right so one cable I use black we have 1.5 feet length of the entire 24 pin cable and how many cables we have in 24 pin cable anybody 24 good answer so we have 24 cables and uh, next task, calculator. 1.5 multiplied by 24. This is going to be ring us 
36 feet of sleeving. Now we do the same job for other stuff, like six pin, right? The same, 1.5 multiplied by six, eight pin. This as will be eight times by 1.5 feet. And uh, just to sake of example, we say 1.5 feet, six pin twice, 1.5 feet, eight pin twice, and that, using calculator again, 1.5 multiplied by 12, going to be 18, and 1.5 multiplied by 16 will be 24. All right, let's say that you have a modular system, then you can stop because you can only use the cables you really need. Oh, we also need 4x4 four four for power supply, um, cable for CPU, right? So it's 1.5 feet multiplied by, if it's one header, only it's eight. If it's two header high end motherboard, again, it's eight by twi twice, so another 24. All right, oops. Anyways, sorry for that. Uh, <clears throat> Great to drop. Now, if we have again modular power supply, we can only use cables that we need. End of story. If we have a power supply like this, you have to sleeve everything, measure everything. So let's calculate total how much sleeve we require. 36 plus 18 plus 48, and this will be 102 feet total. This is exact measurement. You need a little bit for the waste. How waste can occur? First of all, if sleeving and wire is not perfect, perfect diameter on each other, the wire, <coughs> the sleeving can shrink a little bit because when it's expanding, when it's expanding, it became shorter. I'll try to show you what I mean. So. So if sleeve, this is maximum length when it's stretched completely. Now, if I try to make diameter of the sleeving bigger, you see the, the length is shrinking. So you need a little bit for the waste for that. How much, I can't tell you because it varies from the project to project. The best, when you actually do the work, Cut a little bit longer than you need and try to put it on. If it's a little bit longer, just cut it off. If it's not enough, then cut more next time. But let's say we put like 10% for all this uh, extra stuff that you will be measuring and cutting off. Also, uh, for mistakes and things like this, I would also recommend to put maybe another 10%. And um, <clears throat> It will be another 10, it will be 20 total. That would be something that I would say more or less safe bet. And 20%, uh, so we have about 120 feet for sleeving all the wires we, we're talking about here. So one, 120 feet, this is the job you need to budget. And this covers 24 pin, twice six pin, two cards, 6 pin, this is GPU, this is mobile, and this is CPU, right? Twice by 8. So that's pretty much like this. With uh, other devices, let's say you want to sleeve fans or, for example, you want to make nice sleeving for your pumps. The wires used on pumps is much, much thicker. For this one, four millimeter may work, but it will stretch significantly, or six millimeter, because you can see. It's pretty good uh, in terms of thickness, much bigger than power supply thickness. So this is four millimeter. This is definitely will shrink. This probably shrink as much as 20%. So when you have an overhead for this kind of job, you might want more than 20% because of the shrinkage. 
and also your waist and uh, whatever mistakes you make. So maybe think about 30% over when you sleeve fans and um, um, pumps and stuff like this, the bigger wires, that actual uh, length is not clear because we don't know the ratio between um, wires and your sleeving, how, how much you'll shrink when you put them on. Right? So that's pretty much it. As simple as that, um, I think it's a very straightforward, simple logic. If you need wire, uh, sleeve more cables, just you know, calculate the same as this. I hope this video helped you out a little bit with the selection of how much sleeving you need. I know a lot of people ordering through our store, ordering sometimes 70, sometimes 100 feet. So ballpark, I believe they're right. And it depends what they're doing as well. But uh, that's pretty much all you need to know in order to undertake a massive project of sleeving of your power supply. This is a lot of work, can be fun or can be frustrating. It depends uh, on your personal preference, right? I would never do it personally, but I know guys do the fantastic job and stuff look like million dollar PC. So in the end, you're a winner but you have to work a lot all right anyways enough talking thank you very much for watching my channel i will make another video about heat shrink right now and post in a couple days